The same type of split happened in the Minnesota House when Representative Republican Steve Draskowski a year or more ago and a couple of other uh, House Republicans left their party and then formed their own caucus. House Majority Leader, Democratic Representative Ryan Winkler is with me from Golden Valley. What are you hearing about this, Ryan? Is this about the peacetime emergency? This is really more about making sure that the Iron Range and northeastern Minnesota have a seat at the table for uh, budget setting, for projects, and for influence at the state capitol. I think that's what this is fundamentally about. So we are uh, one of the only split legislatures in the country. And when you have even two uh, lawmakers split from their party to do their own caucus, that then affects the vote, which then affects what happens in the House. It it has a, a domino effect. These two DFLers uh, deciding to form their own independent caucus and uh, being rewarded with committee chairs doesn't necessarily mean that they will always vote with Republicans. It doesn't mean they'll always vote uh, with Democrats, but it does give them more leverage in uh, budget discussions and other kinds of negotiations. And I see this as a play for more influence. So now the peacetime emergency, giving the governor his executive authority is also a sticking point and people are thinking that that was why they were splitting. You don't believe that is the case. Um, with the governor's new restrictions, talk to the business owners who are saying that this is just so hurting them. Well, we know so much. This pandemic is hurting a lot of people. Yeah, I mean, we have an opportunity at the state level to step in and try to help small businesses that are affected by the restrictions, to extend unemployment insurance for people who've been laid off because of the COVID economy, to make sure that renters are able to continue uh, making payments as best they can. We, we have a role at the state to help make sure that the worst effects of this are limited. The bigger picture is that we need the federal government to come in with aid to states, aid to businesses, and aid to individuals to get through this. Minnesota House Majority Leader Ryan Winkler, thank you so very much for taking time to talk to me about this. And uh, hopefully we can uh, see some of that federal aid trickle into those businesses that need it.